Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In this module, we are uh, looking into uh, important uh, quantities that can be defined within any gaseous flow. Uh, those are uh, stagnation uh, properties and uh, the other corresponding one is the uh, sonic or uh, star properties. We have looked at uh, stagnation properties and looked at their applications to the compressible pitot in the previous class. So, now let us look at uh, these uh, sonic or they are also sometimes referred to as the star properties. Uh, now, um, uh, what is again uh, common between all of them is the static condition in a flow which is normal uh, pressure and temperature that is uh, measured uh, at any particular point in the flow. So, now this is uh, known and it is um, defined and the flow is moving with a velocity uh, v. Uh, now, uh, if you consider um, the flow to undergo a process uh, similar it is in conditions to the stagnation process which is reversible adiabatic without any work. So, that means it is a uh, isentropic process with no work being done. It is moved from any particular uh, velocity or at that particular point to a point where uh, the velocity becomes exactly the same as the uh, acoustic velocity or the speed of sound. That means, the Mach number from any particular point in the flow if it was having a certain velocity, temperature and pressure uh, the flow will be mm, uh, moved to a point where uh, this particular point is referred to as the sonic point or the star point V star will be equal to the A star at that particular point. So, now you should understand now it is an isentropic process. So, as the process is going on um, we have seen in the um, uh, previous classes on stagnation uh, temperature also, but more easily it can be seen on this T s diagram that as uh, it goes towards the, uh, a certain uh, point, its temperature is changing. That means, if its temperature is changing, its acoustic uh, speed is also uh, changing, that is acoustic velocity is also changing. And now, we are looking for that particular point where uh, the velocity uh, during the process uh, as it is going is equal to that of the uh, acoustic speed at that po point. So, uh, that means, Mach number will become equal to 1 or this uh, uh, particular condition is known as the uh, sonic condition. So, star condition, sonic conditions are uh, synonymous to each other. Now, in this graph that is shown over here uh, for a template or a case, uh, typical case, Mach number is taken as 1.5. That means, uh, if the flow has to go towards uh, Mach number equal to 1, uh, it should uh, be decelerated. Okay. So, it is decelerated and the direction is same as that of the uh, stagnation uh, temperature. So, uh, stagnation temperature also is a deceleration of the flow to uh, 0 velocity, uh, while uh, for uh, this uh, sonic uh, process or star process, it is moving towards the uh, sonic condition where uh, uh, the Mach number will become equal to uh, 1. Um, uh, so, uh, but uh, now uh, if you consider that the flow is uh, subsonic for example, let us take Mach number is uh, 0 0.5, uh, then uh, the flow will be accelerated to um, the uh, sonic condition. So, if it has to get uh, to sonic condition it will get 
uh, accelerated. So, it is quite different from uh, stagnation process in that sense. Stagnation process is always the flow will be taken to uh, 0 velocity whether it is subsonic or supersonic. So, there will always be an uh, increase in uh, uh, pressure and temperature. But on the other hand, if it is a uh, subsonic uh, case and then you are um, uh, getting to star condition, you would see that actually the pressure ratio will uh, decrease. Similarly, temperature ratio will uh, decrease. But on the other hand, in the uh, supersonic case, it will uh, increase because there it is a uh, deceleration process. Uh, now, again, what is the uh, equation that uh, one has to look at. So, uh, here uh, uh, the process is again uh, isentropic and no he no exchange and no heat exchange or no work done. So, we look at uh, h 1 again the energy equation h 1 plus v 1 square by 2 is equal to h 2 plus uh, v 2 square by 2. Now, uh, we directly go and apply the perfect gas uh, calorically perfect gas assumption over here and uh, h is c p t and uh, h star that is the enthalpy at uh, the sonic condition is uh, c p t star. Okay, so, um, you get uh, the equation here that c p t v square by 2 is equal to C p t star plus v square by v star square by 2, but v star square uh, is nothing but a star square which is uh, the definition of a uh, uh, by definition of the sonic point or the star point. And if you put uh, that into uh, uh, condition over here then this becomes a star square and then uh, that is the condition that we have to really uh, solve for. Uh, but there is also the other uh, way uh, to look at this uh, process or these uh, equations to get to the stagnation uh, properties. Uh, uh, sorry the star properties that is uh, consider since both these processes are isentropic process they would fall on the same uh, line and uh, that is the starting from the given Mach number. Um, so, uh, according to the T s diagram over here, so it is on the same line. So, and the stagnation uh, temperature and pressure for an isentropic uh, process will remain the same. So, if one has to look at say uh, P 2 by P 1 in an isentropic process, this can be written as P 2 by P 0, P 0 by uh, P 1. Okay. So, uh, what we are looking for really is that point where uh, the, uh, uh, the flow goes to Mach number 1. So, if we can find out uh, what is p 0 by p star, then this can be used to determine the uh, star conditions for a given flow at that particular Mach number. And uh, this is easily done by substituting m equal to 1 in the equations for uh, t 0 by t, p 0 by p and rho 0 by rho and you get these equations t 0 by t star is gamma plus 1 by 2, p 0 by p star is gamma plus 1 by 2 the whole power gamma by gamma minus 1 and uh, similarly rho naught by rho star is gamma plus 1 by 2 uh, the whole power 1 by gamma minus 1. So, um, these uh, three uh, equations tell you how it uh, the sta uh, stagnation process and the star uh, properties that uh, they are uh, relate related to each other. Now, uh, let us see for any given point how we can uh, compute the uh, star condition that is uh, really uh, straight uh, forward once this is defined because you know this is the relationship uh, p, p 2 by p 1 is equal to. So, if you are looking at p by p star this is p by p naught 
multiplied by p naught by p p naught by p is known this is gamma plus 1 by 2 whole power gamma by gamma minus 1 and p by p naught or p naught by p is also known 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square whole power gamma by gamma so that you can uh, represent this by this particular equation similarly t by t star that can also be represented uh, by the same principle t by t naught t naught by t star the equation that we had just uh, seen that is of um, uh, the star uh, energy equation or energy equation where v star is considered it and to be a star uh, can be taken forward and we can define a new kind of uh, Mach number known as the star Mach number. It has its uh, utilities and we will see what its uh, significance is and uh, so uh, continuing there you can this equation is written by using the point that at star condition V star is equal to A star. Uh, and uh, b uh, to re-emphasize this this uh, that it is at that particular point uh, this acoustic speed is the same as the velocity uh, the, the acoustic speed and the velocity both change during the process so when velocity changes acoustic velocity also changes uh, there will occur a particular point where both can become the uh, same that particular point is known as the uh, sonic point now uh, cp is gamma r by gamma minus 1 so gamma r t star is nothing but a star so you can substitute that with a star now this can be this is algebra you can do the algebra you can get it as gamma plus 1 by 2 by uh, gamma minus 1 a star square now um, uh, then we can define uh, a new Mach number that is V by A star if you divide the entire equation by um, A star. Uh, so, this uh, V by A star is referred to as star Mach number or M star and uh, you can do the algebraic manipulations. Uh, see here you get uh, you have divided the equation by um, A star and uh, simultaneously multiplied it by uh, 2. So, you get 2 a square by a star square this term by gamma minus 1 this is m star square m star square this is gamma plus 1 by gamma minus 1. Now, uh, here in this equation a stars by a by a star square a by a star square is nothing but t by t star and this is known uh, t by t star is gamma plus 1 by 2 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square. So, that can be this uh, can be substituted here into this equation and uh, you can do the algebraic mal manipulations in this equation to come to a relation that is given over here between m star square and m square. m star square is related to uh, Mach number m square and gamma. Now, the uh, advantage with this uh, Mach number is that as Mach number goes to infinity. So, when uh, Mach number is equal to 1 for this case you see that when m is equal to 1 m star is also equal to 1 because gamma minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is gamma plus 1 by 2. So, m star equal to 1, but when m tends to infinity then uh, m star tends to um, it goes to uh, square root of gamma plus 1 by gamma minus 1. So, it goes to a uh, finite number and very soon when we discuss uh, shock waves uh, this star Mach number uh, is useful to derive uh, relations 
in the uh, shock equations. So, it goes to finite values even when Mach number goes to uh, infinite uh, numbers. Also at this point uh, this energy equation can be written uh, and manipulated algebraically to different conditions which is useful in many uh, gas dynamic uh, analysis. Um, and particularly we will see as we go on when we look at uh, shock waves and the their analysis uh, the alternate forms of uh, energy equations uh, is really uh, useful and that is to convert uh, the enthalpy uh, into uh, using the uh, definition of uh, speed of sound. Of course, this is valid for uh, mainly perfect gases. So, you s if you s look at this then you see that uh, h plus v square by 2 is actually uh, h is uh, C p t um, for a perfect gas. So, this C p is gamma r by gamma minus 1. So, you get um, gamma r by so this should be gamma minus 1 this is not 2 gamma r um, t by gamma minus 1 gamma r t is a square so this is a square by gamma minus 1. So, the uh, adiabatic energy equation without any work done this equation uh, can be written uh, in terms of the speed of sound also where a square by gamma minus 1 plus b 1 square um, b 1 square by 2 uh, is equal to a 2 square by gamma minus 1 plus b 2 square by 2. Now, when you uh, go to uh, stagnation conditions, so when uh, we are looking at um, a stagnation process then we take that uh, the V 2 tends to uh, 0. As V 2 tends to 0 uh, T 2 tends to T naught. Then the speed of sound at T naught is the stagnation speed of sound which is uh, square root of gamma r T naught. So, uh, in this equation then A square will tend to A naught square. So, the equation becomes a square by gamma minus 1 plus b square by 2 is equal to a naught square. The other uh, uh, equation that we just now came across is the uh, star condition. So, in uh, star condition we saw it is um, a square by gamma minus 1 plus v square by 2 is equal to gamma plus 1 gamma minus 1 a star square. So, uh, this is the other form of equation. Uh, you can also use uh, this form uh, of the equation which relates any two states and their uh, speed of sounds and velocity. So, this also is utilized in certain gas dynamic uh, analysis. So, uh, to look at uh, the entire thing we have uh, looked at uh, stagnation processes uh, which are isentropic processes that move uh, that is an hypothetical process at every point you can define a stagnation point where uh, the velocity is uh, 0 or it goes to rest and uh, the pressure and temperature at that particular point is the stagnation pressure and uh, temperature. The other uh, uh, case as also important is, uh, is the critical point, it is also referred to as critical point uh, because uh, Mach number at that particular point where you take flow at any uh, point in a flow Mach number and then uh, through a certain process you uh, make it go to Mach number equal to uh, 1 which is an I in this case it is an isentropic process. So, uh, that condition is known as the star condition sonic condition. Uh, soon when we look at uh, the application of these principles in duct flows you will see that uh, this point of Mach number equal to 1 is associated with uh, changes to certain uh, flow phenomena itself. Uh, 
and there is a switch uh, from one kind of behavior in subsonic flow regime to another kind of behavior in supersonic uh, flow regime. So, often this Mach number equal to 1 is also uh, referred to as the critical point because that uh, is a switch over point between uh, these uh, different kinds of uh, regimes. So, uh, the equations we have uh, uh, derived it from basic principles for a uh, perfect gas and also looked at uh, how the energy equation can be written in terms of the speed of sound and velocity and uh, that is also useful in certain uh, analysis that uh, will come in the uh, classes to uh, come. So, uh, in the next class we will look at uh, certain numericals that where we can apply these uh, principles and understand them uh, uh, better.